Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 167 in the series of basic math. And today we'll do our last video, the last lesson on the topic of linear equations. It says 10 of 10. I might end up doing one or two more extra ones, but as, as of right now, it's just the 10 of 10. But, but I already, I think I'm going to do at least one or two more problems on the linear equations down the road. But right now, as it stands, is the last one. Here's the problem. x plus 3 over 9, we are told, plus x minus 5 over 5 has to equal x minus 11. What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, solve the problem yourself. Once you have the answer, once you have the solution, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Do you understand? I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video as usual. All right. We have a nine here on the bottom. We have a five at the bottom. We have to somehow we have to somehow get rid of these denominators. The way we get rid of these denominators is by finding a, a number preferably the smallest number that we can find that is a multiple of both 5 and 9. The smallest number that we can think of that is a multiple of both 5 and 9 is 45. Let's multiply this entire equation by 45. We can get rid of this 9 from the bottom. We can get rid of this 5 from the bottom. Let's not have any denominators, okay? They are known. The denominators are known. So we're going to take our first term. Actually, we can do it right here. We can squeeze it right here. I'm going to make a room. x minus 11. This is what it says right now. x minus 11. Okay, instead of, instead of realizing everything, let's do it right here. So take the first term and multiply it by 45. Uh, that's it, we're done. Take the second term, multiply that by 45. And take the third term and multiply that by 45. And when I say third term, I mean the term that you see on the right hand side. That's it, we're done. Now we have a 9 at the bottom, we have 45 on the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 9. 9 goes away and 45 becomes 5. So we end up with 5 times, 5 times x plus 3. And here, we have a 5 at the bottom, we have 45 on the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. This becomes 9, and we end up with 9 times x minus 5. 9 times x minus 5. Are you with me so far? 9 times x minus 5, right here. And finally, we have 45. 45 times x minus 11. The rest is downhill. We just have to open the parentheses and do it out. So we end up with 5x. 5 times 3 is 15, it's positive 15, plus 9 times x is going to be 9x, and 9 times negative 5 is going to be negative 45, has to equal 45 times x is 45x, and then here we have minus 45 times 11. I'm going to leave it, leave it alone for the time being, let's not mess with that right now. Let's co combine the like terms, shall we? Here we have 5x, here we have 9x, that's 14x. Here we have positive 15 and negative 45, that's going to give us negative 30. And that has to equal 45x minus, well, it looks like we have no choice but to figure that out. How much is, how much is 45 times 11? But there are a couple of ways we can do it out. 45 times 11 is very simple. 45 times 11 would have to be 450 plus 45. What, what am I doing here? 450 plus 45, because 45, if, if, what we have are, count by 45, don't count by 11. How many 45s do we have? We have 11 45. We have 11 45. 10 45s are 450. 10 times 45. 10 45s are 450. We need one more 45. So it's 450 plus 45. It's just 495. That was one way of doing it. Another way is to just do it out. 45. 45 times 11. But don't do it out like a baby. Do it out together. 11 times 5 is 55, 5, carry 5, 11 times 4 is 44, 44 plus 5 is 49. But voila. Either way, it only takes 2 seconds. So it's 495. 495. I'm getting in some strange territory. I hope and pray to God that I did not make any mistake. 14x minus 30 equals 45x. Oh, no, very good. Okay. So I want to keep the coefficient of I want to keep the coefficient of x positive. So let's bring this 14x on that side. We have a positive 14x. Let's subtract 14x from here and 14x from here, and then bring the 495 here. Add 495 to both sides. 
There we go. Now positive 14x and negative 14x, they can kill each other. Here we have negative 30 and a positive 495. 495 minus the 30 is going to be 465. 465 equals 45 minus the 14. 45 minus the 15 would have been 30, so it's going to be 31. 31 x, and that's going to go away. What do you notice next? What you should notice right away, without any, without any struggle, I hope, and you would notice it, and you would notice these things if you have been watching these videos in the series. This is day number 167. I'm digressing here big time. I'm reminding you that you should watch these in, in, in proper sequence from day 1 through 167. Because we did learn our prime numbers. In the way in the beginning somewhere, we did learn prime numbers. We spent, I believe, at least two days talking about prime numbers. I hope that you are able to see right away that 31 is a prime number. Why is that significant? Because if you recognize that 31 is a prime number, then we know that there is not going to be any common factor between 465 and 31. There is nothing, we cannot reduce it. In other words, in other words, x is equal to 465, 465 over 31, and we cannot reduce it. 31 is a prime number. There is no common factor between 465 and 31 because it's, it's, it's a prime number, as I said. Which means now we have to figure out how many 31s are there in 45. Now, do you know a quick way of like, figuring out how many 31s might be? Now, keep in mind, keep in mind at this point, I'm going to digress here for a second. Keep in mind that we are preparing, we are doing these exercises, we are, we are improving, as, we, as I say in the, at, the, at the beginning of each, each video, we, are, we, are, we want to improve our math skill because we are preparing for one of these tests, either ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT, or GRE. And all of these exams are multiple choice exams. You have to keep that in mind. These are all multiple choice exams. At this point, it's a good idea to actually glance at the answer choices and you will see that in a scenario like this answer choices are going to be all whole numbers. They're going to be all whole numbers. All we have to figure out is how many 31s there are in 465. My question to you is, can you figure out quickly how many 31s might be in, in 465? Here's what you do. Obviously, if we had 10, if we had, if we had 10 31s, 10 is just 310. So obviously it's way more than 10. The question is, the question is, is it, is it 31 times 11? The answer is no. answer is no because 31 times 11, whatever it is, it will end in a 1. The unit digits will be 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Is it 31? Is it 31 times 2? The answer is no. It cannot be 2 because it has to end in a 5. But there is your cue. It has to be 31 times 15. 31 times 15. And instead of wasting your time here, let's just multiply 31 times 15. I'm going to rewrite a little bit higher. 31 times 15 and I'm going to show you that it actually does work and again don't multiply it like a baby just do it together 15 times 1 is 15 5 carry 1 15 times 3 is 45 45 plus 1 is 46 you see 465 is exactly what we have here For 465 divided by 31 is 15 which of course we knew all along it would have to be 15 because it ends in a 5 and obviously we know it's more than a 10 it's not going to be more than 20 it's somewhere between 10 and 20. It has to be 5 because five, 1 times 5 is the 5 right there. That's your cue that it's 15. Let's put it back in the equation and make sure we have the right answer. That's the last thing we have to do. We have to put it back in the equation and make sure we get the right answer. I need the room. I need a lot of room. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise these two steps. And then we'll do the work there. Okay, just give me one second. All right, let's, let's do the work here. We're going to verify it very quickly. We had x plus 3 over 9, our x is 15. So we have 15 plus 3 over 9 plus x minus 5, 15 minus 5 over 5 has to equal x minus 11, 15 minus 11. As you can see, the verification is very simple, very straightforward, it only takes a few seconds. 15 plus 3 is 18, 18 divided by 9 is 2, as you can see very quickly, it's very simple. 15 minus 5 is 10, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Very good. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 15 minus, 4, 15 minus 11 is 4. 4 equals 2 plus 2. It works. We have the right answer. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.